Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Scrap Mechanic. Now today we are going to be attempting once again to build another piece of difficult IKEA furniture using the instructions provided by IKEA, which are notoriously difficult to follow. Now we did do this once on the channel before and made a very beautiful looking bunk bed frame. It actually wasn't really that hard, but this time I think I may have gotten myself into something that I'm going to regret. We're going to hop over to the internet and I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is what we built in the last episode. Now if you didn't see that episode, definitely go ahead and check that out after this one. And I downloaded the instructions from this web page. You can see assembly instructions. Sparta bunk bed frame. Now silly me thought that this is how it goes. You have the assembly instructions for the thing that you buy. But this time, things aren't aren't happening quite the same way. Oh no. So I found this article, top seven most hardest that doesn't, that doesn't even, that's not even pieces to assemble. And I was looking at it, it gives complexity points, it gives people required and time required. And out of everything on this list, for some reason, I decided to go with this guy right here. The Stuva loft bed, which happens to be the highest time required on this metric. So is it going to take me 4.5 hours? I guess we're going to find out. Now, as I showed you, the assembly instructions for the bunk bed frame are nice and compacted into this single PDF. The Stuva loft bed, however, when I go down to the assembly and documents, these are the assembly instructions. Apparently, it's not just one thing. Now, I thought that these all were just duplicates of the same thing, but they're not. They're all individual things. They just happen to have the same number next to them. So we got the loft, bed frame, and desk. And you can see it's highlighting this piece right here. And then we have an entire thing of instructions. Just, oh my, this is, this is already more than what the entire bunk bed that we did. But then we have this one, which is the loft part. And then we have this one, which is the desk part. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna build these three parts of this frame independently. I'm not even gonna try to like measure out a perfect scale or anything like that. I'm just gonna build them independently. I'm gonna try to estimate the sizes of things and then we're gonna put them all together and hope that the dimensions work correctly. Oh, I just know I'm gonna regret this, so please. Hit the like button if you like this idea. And if you enjoy watching me suffer through this, then definitely consider subscribing so you can uh, see more of that, you terrible, terrible person. Okay, so let's start actually reading the instructions. What do we have to do to build this? I'm gonna start with uh, the side wardrobe shelf thing. All right, so I scroll down. All right, I think this is the same as what we had in the last one. Um, don't build if you don't have any friends. You wanna merge yourself with the furniture and call Ikea. We already did that. They didn't answer last time. It's not any earlier this time, so I don't think they're gonna answer. All right, we're not gonna need to pay attention to any of this or... Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna try to build all of these pieces individually and have them laid out like this. So we're hopping back in the game here. I got it on my other monitor. I'll put a screenshot up in the other corner for you to look at what I'm looking at. And the tough thing about this is scale. Um, this is how thick they are going to be. And obviously they're, they're pretty thin when you look at the edges. This is gonna be the edge. So to build, this is gonna be huge by the way. I realized that if I'm gonna use this as my material, that means that these are gonna be absolutely huge. It looks like almost all of these are different dimensions which just makes my job so much harder to estimate. Okay, I'm just gonna start with the one on the top because it looks like it's identical to the one on the bottom. Is it, wait, hold on, I gotta bring this back here. This, look at what we got here. This is aligned right here, edge to edge, right? But if you go up, this is not aligned edge to edge. See, these edges, I think they are aligned. These edges are not, what is this? What pieces even are these? This must be the back. This must be the t oh, oh, I see. Do you see that? Oh man, it's a good thing I noticed that. Otherwise I would have messed up. This top section goes all the way out and becomes the top edge there. But this bottom section only extends to the wall, not past the wall like the top section does. So that has to be one block unit then. This has to be the equivalent of one block. Oh man, this is gonna not fit at all. All right, well, we're back in the game and <laughs> We just know that the top and the bottom have to be one block difference from each other. So let's try to build it. How's that look for dimensions? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be good or not, but I'm going with it. So now, 
here's actually an easy way to do this. So I'm just going to basically duplicate it just like this and delete the bottom row off of this one. And now we have two separate pieces just like that. Okay, good progress so far. We get the top portion. We got the bottom portion. Now to do something in the middle. <laughs> so I don't know if that middle part is the same width as these. It kind of looks like it, but then, you know, I'm going to stop thinking about this too much. Just, just, just like I did last time. Let's stop thinking about it too much and let's just build it. Okay. All right. So it's definitely a decent amount longer. And I think that looks good to me. Yep, that looks about good to me. So now we need to build this other piece over here. It is it thinner? I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the good old finger method to measure here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I just found out using my highly scientific finger method comparison that this is actually wider by a little bit. So I'm just gonna add two blocks. I'm gonna add two, bl three blocks. I guess I added three blocks. We're committing with that. Maybe slightly longer, a couple blocks longer. Okay, so now. I'm going to build the one on the right side. I'm going to use the good old finger method here. Now, the one on the right side is the same width as these ones. Just by looking at the assembly picture, I can see that. So we'll go ahead and use this. Put it right here aligned with this guy. And it's longer than this one over here in the middle. All right, how's this look? That actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now, um, is that's the other side, I assume. So I think it's going to be... Oh, that's good. That's good. It's going to be the same width as this, but it's going to be the same length as this. That does all the measurements for us. So I just got to do this and then make it just as long as this one over here. And yeah, that should be measured out for us already. Good progress. All right, five pieces down. Now we got that random sixth one off to the side that isn't quite gray, but I'm going to build it anyways because it's there. That's a duplicate of the of this one over here. Oh, perfect. All right, here we are. We've successfully acquired the pieces out of the box. How is that for an unboxing video on YouTube? I actually had to build my unboxing. All right, now it's time to move on, see what the next stage of the instructions say. Okay, so we are doing this version here. Uh, so we don't have to pay attention to the holes, fortunately, because we're not actually screwing anything in or doing any of this stuff. Yeah, we don't have to do any of that stuff. We just need to know what goes to what. Okay, so we turn these up on their sides and we put them top. Okay, that's w oh wow. It actually wants you to lay it out this way. Oh, we just saved ourselves so much trouble. I think, I hope. That is so weird. These different si like different frame sizes are so what? Look at this is the most irregularly shaped. Look at this thing. This is so irregular. All right, well, we're going to start step by step here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and weld these pieces together and hope that it works out. All right, so in lieu of all of our screwdrivers and other fancy tools, we get to use the good old weld tool. And I got to weld the top of this to the side of that. Oh boy, this is going to be massive. And then I got to weld this to that. All right, good, good, good. Moving on. Okay, so now I've got to weld this to that. Okay, and then I've got to weld uh, that to that. And this should be it. Here, let's get on our, uh, let's get on our lift here. Do, does this look good? That bottom might look, a, I think that looks a little bit, I don't know, we're gonna keep it like that. It looks a little bit long to me over on this side here, but I don't know. And these actually look kind of short. Yeah, those are- we're gonna have to extend these. I'm comfortable with doing that, though. We can definitely do this. It's okay to make some modifications afterwards as long as it allows for it. The big test is gonna be when they all <laughs> get welded together, all these individual parts that we're making. Okay, so now what are we dealing with? Where did these come from? These were not part of our floor plan here. Okay, okay we got these things, I guess, uh, and then we got things on the bottom, and then that piece comes in. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna start here. I guess I just gotta put three shelves in here. All right, I'm gonna need to use a paint tool here to start marking things out. I don't think there's a center point on this. I'm gonna go there, there, and there. That's gonna have to do. That's what we're gonna be doing. All right, so I should just be able to build this shelf like that. Build this shelf like that. And then build this shelf like that. Works for me. Good enough. Moving on. Okay, up next... That's easy. We just got to insert these pieces in here. Do they go flush? Yes, they go flush with this part here. All right, another easy one. So wait, where is it again? Okay, we got to do this part here 
And then the same thing on the bottom. Okay, looking good so far. Does that still, that still feels a little bit much, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna delete two blocks off the bottom here. I feel like I made it a little bit too, a little bit too wide. There, does that seem better? That seems better to me. Okay, now <laughs> I hope this works. We gotta weld that last piece that we built. We gotta weld it and it should just close everything up. I should be able to take this, weld it right there. Uh, what is hap- why isn't that welding? Oh, 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 I did make a mistake. I made this one a little bit too long. Okay, all right, and now, did it work? Did it work? It worked, but we just gotta delete this last little section there, and now we have it. I think, are we done? I hope we're done. Please be done. All right, here's what we got. Let's go compare. Oh, first we gotta actually stand it up right, don't we? That, that's probably a good idea. Why don't we do that? All right, and here we are. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us a solo finished product picture. The closest thing we have is the two people just lifting it up. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. This doesn't include the doors. And now that I'm looking at it, this looks pretty thin in comparison. This doesn't look like a wardrobe double door thing. It looks more like a single door thing, but that's what we built. So we're sticking with it now. Okay, let's move on to the next major piece on the build and see if the instructions are gonna be any easier to follow. All right, I think next I'm going to build the loft portion of it because it happened to be the next thing in my tabs here. All right, so once again, same basic instructions. I have no friends. I need to be a mutant and I need to call people that aren't there. All right, don't need to pay attention. That's a lot of stuff actually. Don't need to pay attention to any of that important stuff. Okay, so apparently I need these pieces what are these? Oh, all right. So these two pieces go here for whatever reason. They're just two pieces rather than one big piece. I guess that's because probably fitting it in the box. They needed to break it down into two pieces. And then these two pieces, I think we're going to modify because they overlap each other right here. It looks like, and we're going to have them occupy the same space. So we just need this piece to basically be cut right here. And then that one just goes on the back. So I'm gonna do this stupid thing and I'm just gonna try to build these pieces independent of what I did previously with the shelf wardrobe thing. So what that means is I'm not using this for scale. <laughs> I'm just gonna guesstimate and we're gonna see how it line ends up lining up. Okay, so first piece is like a longer one that's not quite that wide. Perfect, and now we need to do the same thing lengthwise but just much wider. Okay, how's this look? Does this look good? I think this one needs to be even wider. We're gonna go wider. Oh, I think I might've made it. No, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. Oh, I'm questioning everything and I'm gonna, just gonna stop now. I think this next one is about the same width as this one, but it's just not quite as long. I'm gonna go to there, I guess. Let's just do that. These are, we can, we can make the fine tuning later. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna build off of this. We have another piece that is like, uh, oh, like this thin? Super, super thin. It's the same length as the last piece we need to make, but it is a decent amount longer than all of these. All right, and now this next piece, I think is the same width as this piece, but it is just as long as that skinny piece. All right, and there we go. All right, now let's separate them all and lay them out the way that they have in front of us here. Now, how do we put these together? Okay, step four, put this to that. It was just so pointless building those two as separate pieces. I don't, I really don't understand. It has to be a box dimension thing. They must not have been able to fit the whole piece in a single box for some type of cost thing. Okay, so now that we got that done, uh, all right, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. So we gotta, okay, so this part of the instructions is actually kind of thoroughly confusing me, especially if I had to figure out where these extra pieces that I don't have to deal with right now are going. Oh, oh wait, where did these pieces come from? What are these? I haven't built these. Uh, I'm confused. Ikea, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't even know which piece it's telling me this is, but I remember from the earlier pictures, this is the one that's all the way on the far side gets welded up here. Okay, we're just doing that then. So this piece goes from here. It needs to get welded this way. There we go. Okay, we did this next step. Uh. We got these bracket things that we don't have right now. I'm gonna skip those and I'm gonna go straight to this step and then we'll put these in because we'll have the distance that we need. So I gotta weld the really long thin piece in line with this one over there, I presume. All right, here is the really long thin piece. So I'm gonna line it up with the bottom 
of this. We're just doing it. We're doing it. Don't worry, I'm only like 40 minutes into this recording. I, I think we're making good progress. It's supposed to take four and a half hours to build this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna, we'll worry about this later. I don't even know if we need that technically. We're just gonna <laughs> skip over. Uh, it's still doing the same thing. It's still, still doing, this is all the same thing so far. All right, now here's the confusing part. Now we're all of a sudden including our previous build. Oh, we gotta put some. We gotta put something on top of there. Okay, all right. This is where all of our measurements are just going to be completely wrong, and we're gonna have to change everything. All right, so I need to get to the top of this thing. So give me a second. There we go. And this goes on to the front of this. Okay, interesting. So I'm just gonna build. I don't know. I'm just gonna build it up that high. That looks right to me. Does it look right to you? Sure. Good enough. Now what do we got? <laughs> I love this step. This step, this step just looks like a giant table flip to me. <laughs> All right, I need to weld the edge of this. Okay, to the front of that. We need to we need to use big brain time here. I need to be able to get on top. There we go. All right, you ready for this? So I have to take uh, this weld point. I jump down here, and then I need to be on the shelf side and weld it right. I need to weld it right there. You know why I can't? Because it's going into the ground probably over there. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Nope, there's more I can do. We're using bigger brain time now. I'm gonna put this on a lift. Because now, as I try to weld this, I can move this up. Look at that, there we go. And then I weld it right there. <gasps> no way. Oh, see, that's the problem. I missed it by one block, the measurement. So all I got to do is just move that entire section out by one block. I can do that. Oh, and actually looking at, I estimated this by one block too. That was a one block difference as well. I didn't do too bad on the estimations. All right, so I've made the adjustments and I've taken it off the lift and I see a problem so far. <laughs> Uh, I've definitely made this side way too high, so we've got to cut off, like, the whole bottom of this, and I hope that this is gonna be okay. Alright, so ignoring all the seats I have to get around this thing, this is what we got so far, and I think it is resembling pretty well. Despite all of our weird estimations, I think we're doing okay. So now, what's next? <laughs> Where did this piece come from? That's a new piece. Okay, well, I guess we're installing this piece then. I don't know how many blocks, like... That much? That, that much? I'm gonna go with that much and we're just gonna drag it over. All right, perfect. Nailed it. Easy mode. Next. Okay, yeah, here's the weird section. So this piece gets overlapped with this piece here, but since our build units are so big, we can't just overlap them like that. So we're gonna have to replace uh, all of that section. And we have all these slats to put in. Oh boy. Don't worry, that's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, so we need to do this overlapping thing right here. So let's do this. So basically, if I got super, super lucky with my measurements here and estimating the distance, then what I should be able to do is just delete this from here. And then we just need it to line right back up with that. All right, there we go. So we don't need this section of it. Now let's see how lucky I got. I should just be able to take a weld point from here. And if I got super, super accurate and lucky, if I weld it right there, it should, it does not line up. <laughs> we were a little bit short on that one. But that's okay, we can just finish it off like uh, this. All right, so that means that these slats that we gotta put in here have to line up. So I can just use this as my measuring tool. All right, so that was actually really only a one block difference. That's not too bad. All right, so now we gotta put Four, one, five, six, seven. <laughs> I'm just gonna put slats and hope that we reach seven. So one of these slats goes like right here. So I have a six block wide slat and then I'm gonna go with a three block gap. Okay, how'd I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that was close, almost, almost. We're almost there, but we gotta move on. I don't have 4.5 hours to make this video. We gotta do some record time here. Okay, oh, there's a ladder. I forgot about the ladder. So we need these pieces. Oh, there's like a curve, we can do that. Um. One, two, three, four, five steps to this ladder. Okay, so let's just build the ladder. There we go. So this needs to go from the very, very top all the way down to the bottom. They even have like a, a fancy hole on the top for like handles. I'm just gonna build a temporary step here. How big should these steps be? Two blocks, do you think? I'm gonna go with three block steps. This actually seems like a pretty big step ladder. And then three block steps will allow us to put a hole for a handle at the top. So that's gonna make that look better as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go one, two, three. 
and then just all the way down to the ground. All right, so I've separated it from the bed, so now we can work on it as an individual piece. So we're gonna put a nice handle right there, and then we're gonna take away this and put a nice curve on it, just like the picture. There we go, and that's it for this part. Now all we need to do is duplicate it and put one, two, three, four, five steps from top to bottom. And all right, we got the five steps in here and I'm gonna do it the legit welding way. We're gonna weld the steps on here, but I need to mark out where the five steps are gonna be. The steps should be equidistant from each other. Okay, so if we have the top step like right there and the bottom step like right there, then all we gotta do is divide them all in half. Right there, right there, right there. There's not, there's an issue here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay, so I just moved that one down a little bit. That should be our weld point right there. We got one step, two steps, three, four, and five. So now I should be able to weld from here to there. I think we did it. I think we have our ladder. All I gotta do is weld that to that. Let's take a look. That actually does not look too bad. This is actually looking pretty good. I like this. Okay, what do we have in store for us next? But we're done with this part. We have one more major piece left, which is the desk that goes underneath. And that should be over here. I didn't think this was gonna be three builds in one. I was hoping it was gonna be one build like the last episode was. All right, what are we doing with this? Same thing, I have no friends, I'm not a mutant. Ikea doesn't love me. All right, um, oh boy. So this one, I think we're gonna have to use our build as a reference for this one. Otherwise we might run the risk of not fitting it underneath at all. And if we can't fit underneath at all, that's just not gonna be good. So here's, it's already just going gung ho in this. Uh, we gotta put a bunch of things to get, which, what is this? What are we putting together right now? What part is this? I don't know. I don't know what this, oh, is this? I am assuming that we just built this part if we got through here. That must be what it is. I think we can build that on its own. All right, so the problem that I have with these instructions is it doesn't tell me whether these are the sides or like the back or the bottom. I'm assuming that these are the sides and like which ones are these? Like bottom, other side, like, oh man. The sides have to fit like in here and the top shelf has to go up to there. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that to me is good enough right there. So we can separate this from the build. There we go, one side done. <laughs> All right, and I just duplicated it to create the second side, but now we need a weird top and bottom thing going on. So we're just gonna give it two blocks at the bottom and then how wide do we make it? I don't know, you know, good enough for me. And then we got the back panel, which I'm gonna go with Why does the back panel not go all the way out? I'm just gonna give it a one block on the back, if that's even the back. All right, and then next up, we gotta weld uh, this onto it. So that should do it. That that should do it, right? Does that look right? All right, and it looks like then we just gotta fill in the bottom panels here. I think that does it. Okay, that's the desk piece. How far does that go? That assu I'm assuming goes from edge to edge. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna weld this part in here. We're just gonna commit to that and then we just put the top on. So this should be welded right into here, there we go. And then we can just put the top of the desk right on here. Okay, so this is looking good. This is actually looking pretty good. What's next? All right, so we put the top of the desk on. Okay, good, good. We fit it in there. Yes, the top of the desk is like just on top of there. Good, good, good. And I think we did it. It goes on to the next step, okay. So we've done the three major portions. Now all we have is these shelves and this door. Can I even fit three shelves in there? Like, honestly? All right, so now the bottom shelf is bigger. So we put that one there and then we can divide the top two. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that, that actually kind of works. Okay, so for filling out the rest of this with the shelves and the door, um, I have to use scrap mechanic technology for these. So the instructions are actually going to mean nothing to me. I can't follow the instructions because I need to use pistons and I need to use bearings and stuff like that. So we're gonna do our own thing just for these ones, just to emulate the functionality of what they're supposed to do. Then we'll put a mattress on top of it and then we'll compare it. All right, so I've already got my three pistons set up to the appropriate length. So now I just basically need to fill, fill these in with drawers. 
Okay, drawers have been installed. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're super flush with each other, so you can't even see the gaps in between the drawers to separate them, but we should have our top drawer comes out. We'll take a look in there. Nothing inside. We got our bottom drawer. There we go. Perfectly fine. And then, of course, we got... Wait, did I say bottom drawer? That's the middle drawer, obviously. And then we got our bottom drawer. And that one's slightly bigger than the rest. And that is not centered. Hold on. There we go. Much better. All right. Drawers are done. Now we need to do the doors over here. And we need two of them. Please tell me that this is going to work out. If this is odd width, this is not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, 14. Thank you for being even. That means we can have two doors open and the middle point actually be in the middle. All right, so we got to put a bearing here for that door. We got to put a bearing here for that door. Let me mark the middle. Eight. All right, so each door has to go out that far and that far. There we go. And then we just fill in the door from the bottom to the top. And now we just got to program it. We got to hide the controller here. So I guess we could just stick it on the bottom there. All right, there we go. And I'm going to have them open up a little bit more than 90 degrees. We're going to do like 105 degrees. All right, so now that should open up each individual door. There we go. Oh, 105 degrees. We can do more than that, actually. Yeah, let's do, let's bump it up. So now we have individual control over each of those doors. Um, and I guess I just got to paint everything white to emulate what it originally looked like. And actually, you know what? We have different options here. We have white and light blue. We got white and light pink. We got white and red. And since this is the Scrapman channel, we're going to add some red onto this thing. So the doors and the drawers each get to be red. Oh, the mattress. I forgot the mattress. I'll put a mattress in there as I paint too. Don't worry about it. All right, I decided to put a red mattress on it to match with the rest of it. We have a really, really super thin pillow here. Super thin mattress that is just made out of concrete. Because, you know, when you're, when you're building an Ikea bed like this, do you really expect the most, the most quality? And the, you can even see, like, the slats underneath and stuff. Oh, this is great. We got our drawers. Let's make sure everything still works. Yeah, we... Oh, I forgot to paint the drawers. All right, now it's ready. All the drawers, as you can see, are... Oh, I should have went from the top to the bottom. All the drawers, as you can see, are in working order, and they are painted inside and out. Let's go ahead and check our side doors. We got a giant ladder there. Side doors work perfectly for the wardrobe section. So I think this thing is ready to be called finished. So we can put it on a lift, and here it is. Let's compare this to the final picture. All right, look at that. That actually doesn't look too bad. It might be a little bit longer than the picture, but other than that, I think it's pretty good to be honest. And here we have the Ikea loft bed. Following the difficult instructions that Ikea has given us, we now have a loft bed and it is fantastic. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this kind of content following instructions on builds like this. If so, then leave some suggestions on what kind of instructions I should follow. Now, if you missed the first episode, then you can go ahead and check that out right here on the end screen. There were also some interesting instructions in that episode to follow. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.